Hey folks, welcome to Life on Beagle Road. Today we've got to get the does rotated. They have cleared out the front yard, aka uh, my pasture, and now I need to move them into the woods. As you can probably see here, there is a huge difference between where the goats and the alpacas just were and the next section of our yard. So the plan is to just keep working them around the pasture and through these woods that surround it. There's a lot of underbrush in here, a lot of seed that we've planted over the past couple years and really will provide low cost, high quality feed for the goats all summer. And this will cut down on parasite issues as well. They're gonna be constantly in new places that they haven't been in at least eight to nine months. We're starting here on the high side because we do have quite a few areas that are still very wet. As we get later into the summer, those will dry out and will make great grazing areas. But for now, we'll avoid them. Sometimes helping your wife with things means that you do things the most inefficient way possible because, yes, honey, whatever you say, honey. We're literally moving one post at a time, and we have to move them all the way over there and it's not gonna work. It's gonna take so long. Wait until that alpaca goes across that fence. I really didn't pee myself. You really did though. <laughs> oh, oh, I lifted up that metal trash. <laughs> Where am I going with this? Um, so there's a Fine, we're gonna do it Kenny's way. Maybe it makes sense. Whatever. Something. Ow. You get stung? Yeah. I don't know by what. But... <laughs> as soon as you get that gate in, I can do the other part. All right, is it in? Yep. Good. Whoop. Whoop. Get yourself caught in the fence. Mm hmm Like Bridget. Okay. Do you know what I mean? So what you can do, here, I'll drop it and you stick it in the ground for me. Got it? Okay. Hold on. I recruited a little helper to take my place. Yeah. wondering why we're moving the goats to this kind of wooded, not so green area when we've got lots of lush green areas. The reason is a couple things. Number one, there is a ton of different vegetation in this area and you know variety is the spice of life for goats just like it is for us. But there are also some invasive species in here that we want to control poison ivy, this rose bush thing, not multi-flora rose. I think we've gotten rid of most of that, but there are definitely some owl prickly bushes in here. That's what they're called, owl prickly bushes. 
we've got owl prickly bushes in here and the goats will eat those amazingly i don't know how that would hurt my gums don't you think yes baby there are also a lot of little saplings in here which the goats will eat we don't want those growing you know and taking away the the nutrients from the larger trees in here this part of the property has a lot of you know mid-aged trees if that makes sense Another reason is that it is good to put goats in an area like this that does have some dry leaves and saplings and, and different kinds of stuff because they have just been in a pasture that was totally lush greenery and that's when you can run into issues with bloat. Also when I'm transitioning goats to a new pasture I do give them some baking soda. I don't leave it out all the time. I know that was at one time the recommendation, and then I started reading that it's kind of like antacids. If you use them all the time, then your body stops producing its own antacids. So I just use it when we're transitioning pastures and they're gonna eat some new stuff, make sure they've got what they need if their stomach does get upset, but I want their stomach to continue working the way that it should. Courtney trying to chase one of the stragglers that just wouldn't follow along. Ah. Oh yeah, yuck. Hey, there's another one. What? There's another one. Robbie to the rescue. Thanks, buddy. Yep. Mama's got to get a dead animal. Yeah. Yeah. Here, baby. I got this for you. There you go. I'm so proud of you. Why don't you love me? I love you. That's why I'm letting you do this on your own for self. Uh, what do you call it? Nothing. You call it self nothing. Great job, honey. Love you. On the agenda for this week, we need to replant that doe pasture. So look for a video about that and look for just a general update on the animals and what's going on. We have some new babies for you to see. Yes, and I'm not talking about the meat birds. These are cuter babies and they grow more. Look, look cuter. Don't look like chubby chicken nuggets. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Talk about the weather to know any better. I just want to know.